Welcome to this ROS question and answer video tutorial. My name is Marco Arruda and today I'm going to show how we can solve the problem of this user. He is trying to publish, to create a node which is going to publish a custom message called two ints which has two integers A and B and he want also to create a subscriber so another node that will subscribe this kind of message calculate the sum of the integers and publish the result as an integer 16 from the standard messages group okay uh, we have to do it in python and i'm going to use the rds to solve to show how we can solve the problem so ROS development studio provided by the construct if you don't have an account yet you can create a new one for free following the link at the description of this video. So let's start creating a new project here. I'm gonna call it Raspi Publisher Some Subscriber. You can choose the name you prefer. And here we have our new project. Let's open it. And wait a few seconds until we have our ROS development environment ready. Here on the, on the middle of the screen, on the center of the screen, we have the IDE at the bottom of the terminal. On the left side you have the IPython notebook. This time I'm, go I'm not going to use the notebook, so let's hide it. And on the right side we have the simulation. In this case, just uh, an empty simulation. We are not going to use also, so let's keep it that way. Uh, I'm going to start creating a new package, so let's go to the source folder of our Catkin workspace and create our package. I'm going to call it my package and it depends on Raspi, standard messages, and we are going to create a new message, so we need also the message generation and message runtime. Okay, so here we have our package. Let's compile it just to make sure all the dependencies has the correct name. Let's take a look again on the question of the user. Okay, so that's the, the idea. We have to create a custom message. We have to create also a publisher and a subscriber that calculates the result and publish another message let's call it sum with the result so here we have our package let's start creating our message so inside this folder let's create an, another one called message msg and inside this msg folder the two ints message So we have integer a and b. Let's save the file and configure our CMake list file to generate the new message. So here we have add message files, the name of the file, so two links. Let's finish this instruction here and the instruction generate files. Where is it? Mm. Okay, here it is. Generate messages. And it's done. Let's compile our package. wait a few seconds until you have it done first time it can take a while so there it is our message our new message let's source our workspace environment so set up bash and let's check if we have our message so 
ROS message list. I'm gonna find for my package messages and there it is. Now we can use it. So let's create our nodes, a folder called scripts for the Python scripts. The first one I'm gonna call publisher to ints py. And I have a template here. So let's just copy and paste. Basically, we are importing RosPy library, two ints message, the one we have just created, defining this main function, which is being which is called it here. This is just a Python convention, so and finally initializing our node. I'm calling it two ints publisher, creating a publisher object. So the name of the topic is two ints. That's also the kind of the message, the one we have just created, right? And the queue size equals to one, that's enough for this example. I'm creating also RASPI rate, so we are publishing at one hertz and creating an object for the message. So message equals two, two ints. And inside our loop, I am giving two values here, so two and seven, you can put the value you want or take it from from other place, I don't know, depends on your application. So finally we are publishing the message and sleeping for a while until we have to publish it again. Let's test our script. So in order to do that, uh, I have this, my simulation running because I have the clock well configured. Okay. Uh, let's try to reload the page. <coughs> okay, here we have. And let's just play the simulation, start the simulation because the clock is binded to the simulation. Okay. And let's run our node. So, Ross, run my package. And the name of the script, which is publisher two ints. Okay, there it is. Let's check if the topic is being published. So the name of the topic is two ints. Let's open a new terminal here using this button. Let's put it smaller and check the topics we have in our computer. So ROS topic list. Here it is, two ints, and let's take a look. So Rostop echo, two ints. Okay, so first of all, we have to source our Catkin workspace because we have a new message. So Rostop echo, two ints. And here we have our values, two and 15. And let's go to another node. So back to the, this screen. Let's create our node here. <coughs> so, another script, a new file, a subscriber to ints.py, and let's start using this template here. Bas basically, what we are doing, uh, we are importing the same library, so raspy, and the message, and also the int16 from the standard messages library. Okay, <coughs> here we are creating the object which is going to be published. So that's the result of the sum. And let's start from the, the main function. We are initializing our node, creating our publisher. So it's, it's publishing to the sum topic. This kind of message in 16, the queue size one is enough. And we are subscribing the two ints topic, which is being published by the the first script we have created. Remember? Okay. So far so good. And we are creating also this Raspi rate object because we are publishing it at one hertz. So great. And also the callback function. So our subscribe receives the messages and send to the callback function. So we are doing the, the sum right here. So our result object has this attribute called data, 
and this is equals to message A plus message B. Okay, and we are logging the result just to make sure everything is right. Okay, so now let's run our first node. So here we have the publisher, and in the another the other terminal. Let's take a look in our topics. So here we have two ints topic, and let's run the second node. So my package was run my package a uh, subscriber okay great so here it is our subscribe is running and let's check the topics we are receiving okay let's take a look we have to to clean our nodes and let's run again Run, run publisher to integers okay here we have and on the other terminal let's run the subscriber Ah, okay, so the problem here is that I'm using the same name for both. So, Twins Publisher, and this one is the subscriber. Sorry about that, my fault. And let's try again. So, let's run the publisher. Here we have the topic, Twins. And let's run the subscriber. And finally, here we have the callback function being called. So we are logging the information and here we have the sum of the values. So we have data equals to 17, which is the sum of 2 plus 15, right? So basically that's it. This is how we can create a node, publish a custom message and inside another node we can we can make the sum, the calculation, and publish a new message. So let's finally create another terminal here and check the the final topic, the topic of our interest, which is called sum. So it has to to receive the the calculation here. So let's take a look. Ross topic echo sum. And there it is. So data equals to 17. That's the sum of integer A plus B. That's it. Uh, I hope it can help you. If you like this kind of video, don't forget to subscribe our channel. Thank you for watching. See you.